before performing any maintenance on our machine, we're gonna confirm that our power is off and that you're properly locked and tagged out. We are also going to confirm that our air supply has been shut off and is properly locked and tagged out. As part of our regular maintenance routine, we're gonna take a look at our main FRL here. The first part is our water separator and it ensures that no water is being introduced to your system. So we are just going to confirm that there's no water in this reservoir here. The next part is our dry supply that's going to supply our air tank. We're gonna make sure that that fitting is nice and tight with no air leaks. We are also gonna take a look at our regulator here to make sure that the dial is nice and clean and legible. The final part is we are gonna look at our oil here. We are gonna check our oil levels to make sure that they are within the acceptable range. If you do have to top off your oil, keep in mind the max fill line. We are also gonna take a look at the oil levels in the reservoir for our secondary FRL here that deals with the pressure and lubrication of all our staple guns. As part of our daily maintenance routine, we're gonna locate all of our photo eyes and make sure they're clear of dust or any obstructions. We also have our photo eyes on all four of our guns that we're gonna confirm that those are clean as well. As part of our weekly maintenance routine, we're gonna locate all of our linear bearing shafts and with a clean dry rag, we're gonna wipe them free of any dust or debris. We're also going to wipe down the bearing shafts in each individual head. We are also going to wipe down the shafts that raise and lower our staple guns. As part of our monthly maintenance routine, we're going to want to clean and lubricate all of our air cylinder rods with a silicone spray. Another part of our maintenance routine that should be done every 250 hours of operation is locating and greasing all of our bearings. We've got two of our linear bearings here on our main width adjust shaft that we are gonna locate the Zerk fitting and using the proper adapter, we are gonna slip that over the head of that Zerk fitting and do one pump of grease per bearing. Underneath our head assembly here, we're gonna locate all of the bearings. We're gonna have four for our vertical, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And we're gonna have four for our horizontal, one here, 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 and here. Another part of our monthly maintenance routine is checking that all bolts are securely fastened and nothing has come loose. After performing all of our maintenance routine, we are gonna remove our locks and tags from both our air supply and our power supply.